All right, we're back. We were having some technical difficulties uh, here with our broadcasting, but you know what? Uh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. You know what? It's been a uh, started off with a very, very good ease in morning, but um, a couple of things came in to try to shift our quiet and relaxing morning, but you know what? We have the victory in Jesus' name. You know what? Today we're going to share with you part two of what we started on yesterday, where we begin to talk about it's okay. Try again. Well, today I just want to encourage you in some other areas and just to say, allow yourself to have faith. You know, that's so important. Allow yourself to have faith faith. So I want to share something with you. You know, I have all kind of uh, books and uh, things that I love to read for encouragement. And when I come across something, I love to share it with you. So uh, this right here is from I Hear His Whispers. It is a 365 day devotional. Uh, encounter God's heart for you. So I'm looking at this date and it says release your striving. So I thought it was so befitting to include it with what we shared on yesterday. Yesterday, we did give you 12 highlights, key points of motivation to encourage you to start again. So the reading on today says, I have taught you in the secret place. Well, you know, when I read that first line, that takes me to one of my favorite passages of scripture, which I'm going to share with you. And if you are a frequent listener of the balance of life, you already know what my go-to passage of scripture is. And it is Psalms 91. That's right. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, this particular author opens up with, I have taught you in the secret place. When we go into the secret place, which is the presence of the Lord, it is our hiding place. It is where we are equipped. It is where we are taught. Yes, it is a place that we are broken. And it is a place where we are made whole. It is a place of defense. It is a place of healing. It is a place of where we receive instructions and encouragement. There is something so valuable about the secret place of the Most High. I encourage you to get there. Get into the secret place of the Most High. It says, and you have learned the ways of my spirit. So once again, the secret place of the Most High is a very intricate and beautiful place to be in. It is where we take refuge. It is where we learn about our Father which is in heaven. It is where he introduces different aspects of himself to us in the secret place of the Most High. It is a place of intimacy, spiritual intimacy with our Father which is in heaven. Just like we learn about each other in relationships, we learn about each other when we can experience one another in different atmospheres. If you only talk on the phone, you really don't know how a person is going to act in public, uh, in restaurants or at uh, gatherings, family, wedding, funerals. You don't know. And if you only talk on the phone, you never know how they're going to act in a ministry setting or even in the business boardroom. So it is important to learn and discover every aspect of an individual that you are in a relationship with according to the type of relationship you are in. Let's make that good and clear. So let me start again. It says, I have taught you in the secret place and you have learned the ways of my spirit. I remind you this day do not strive, but rest your heart in the quietness, and I will do what you cannot. So, on yesterday, as we begin to uh, share with you the 12 highlighted motivational key points of starting again, I want to say to you, allow yourself to have faith in God. 
allow yourself to believe what it is that he allowed you to see, what it is he allowed you to hear, that he can surely bring it to pass. But we have to allow ourselves to have faith. And what is faith but to believe? It is to trust. It is to hope for. Have an expectation of what you have seen in the vision that yes, he allowed you to see it and yes, it can surely come to pass. Don't doubt, don't second get, guess him, but with an expectation and with an expectation, make sure that you do your part. Because in the secret place of the Most High is the classroom of God where he teaches us, he shows us, he instructs, instructs us, he gives us directions on what to do. It's just like going into a classroom. You are there to study, you are there to learn, you are there to observe. And then you are to take what you have learned, studied, and observed, and apply it. That is a secret place of the Most High. So rest. Don't strive. Don't fight against the instructions that you have been given. Don't try to rearrange the directions that he told you to go in. But trust his process. For he knows what is best for us. He knows what's ahead. He knows what will work and what will not work. So rest, rest in him, allow yourself to have faith in God. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning into the balance of life. And I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know what? I went ahead and put a couple of announcements on our Facebook page for the balance of life. I do have uh, a portion the cover of our May 2022 magazine for Hope and Truth magazine. And you know what? You can subscribe for digital or a actual copy. Digital is $5 per copy and print copy $7 per copy. Email us today at aFergusonMinistries at yahoo.com. For details on how you can order and subscribe to Hope and Truth magazine. Also, I'd love for you to visit over and check out our website at angelferguson-ministries.com. Love the new layout. Uh, still going in there and making sure that we keep things vibrant and updated just for you. And if you have not, if you have not, uh, sent us a request to become covenant partners in prayer with us. I'd love for you to be covenant partners in prayer with us. You will receive a newsletter once a month. Uh, it will give you details about our ministry and our other covenant partners in prayer, what they offer. Who knows? There is something you might need, and they are part of covenant partners in prayer for Angel Ferguson Ministries. That information is on our website as well. So today we are diving into part two of, you know what, it's okay, try again. Today I want to take it a step further. I really want to encourage each and every one of you to allow yourself to have faith. Allow yourself to believe. First of all, I want you to believe in our Father which is in heaven. I want, to, I want you to believe in yourself. That's right. I want you to believe in you. You can do what it is you were called to do. You can reach goals. You can reach milestones. But you have to allow yourself to have faith. Allow yourself to trust the process.
So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign on to our Wisdom app. So I want to share this with them as well. So good. All right. So we are on with our Wisdom app. And I want to encourage those as we're encouraging those with our radio podcast. This is Pastor Angel Ferguson for those who are tuning into our Wisdom app. Today we're talking about allowing yourself to have faith. And so this is part two to yesterday's podcast. It's okay. Try again. But I want to encourage you a step further to allow yourself to believe, allow yourself to have faith, allow yourself the ability to know that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. So if you have seen the vision, if you have uh, heard uh, the, the voice of wisdom, which is of the Holy Spirit, you have, uh, y- you've, you've tapped into something and you're, you're going after your goals, your dreams, your visions. I want you to, first of all, believe in what you see. And I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to begin to believe that, you know what? He allowed me to see it. He's going to help me to achieve it. And this is something I can do. So I want you to begin to fight against anything negative that tries to infiltrate your thoughts in your minds that tells you that you can't do this because yes, you can. You can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens you. You can do whatever you set your heart and your mind to do. It takes discipline. It takes encouraging yourself. It takes commitment and it takes having a very good plan of execution. So what we're sharing to you today says, release your striving. Don't fight against the knowledge that you have the ability to achieve what it is you want to achieve. Ask yourself realistically, what am I applying to this goal? What am I applying to this vision that I see? What am I applying to uh, this goal? What am I applying to my purpose? Because you can see it. The thing is, we have to learn how to get to what you see. So if you can see it, then becomes the time to say, you know what? I need some instructions. I need some directions. I need a specific dynamic plan to get to what I see. And when you come across roadblocks and you are going to come across them, do not allow them to stagnate you. Do not allow them to hinder you. But no, guess what? I can do this. I can achieve this. As I was looking at um, my Facebook page this morning, I came across something that I wrote back in 2016, and it is so simple, but yet profound. And it simply says this, here is some logic. A fork in the road simply means there are options. Okay? A fork in the road simply means that there are some options. And that's why I want to encourage you, allow yourself to have faith. And it is okay to try again. You have options. It is not the end. So we're reading to you today from a great book that I absolutely love. I hear his whispers So let's get back to it. I want to recap that very first line because it's precious. I have taught you in the secret place and you have learned the ways of my spirit. I remind you this day, do not strive, but rest your heart in the quietness and I will do what you cannot. When we first look at our visions, our purpose, our goals, and our dreams, Yes, it is 
overwhelming. And guess what? Your dream and your vision and your purpose should be bigger than you. It should be bigger than what you imagine. And then we have to learn how to get to what we see. So begin to dissect that vision. Begin to understand the components of that vision. You know, the things that happen behind the paint. When we look at a painting, we see all of the beautiful, vibrant sceneries and colors and details. But there is something behind all of that. And that is known as the canvas. The blank canvas, the artist's brush, their imagination, their creativity, all of those things are put into place to bring about what they see within their soul, what they see within their heart. And so when you are allowed to see yourself doing magnificent things, see yourself with a published book on the shelf of the bookstores, of the libraries. See yourself speaking to a multitude of people, encouraging them, giving them tips and tools on how to achieve their goals. Become that architect that builds. Whatever it is, it is you. And so have the faith to believe that, guess what? I can do this. In due time, I can achieve this with the right tools, the right tools of knowledge. Creating a plan to get to what you see. You know, one day uh, I was doing a, a seminar and I was speaking on the process of publishing your book. And one of the attendee said, you know, with all of those details, I thought you just get a book and put it on the shelf, never understanding the intricate parts behind putting that book together. So first, what are you going to write about? Is it something you have knowledge of, experience of, your passion? What kind of writer do you want to be? And then you have to listen to what's going on with inside of you. If it's a book of encouragement, what does your soul say? If you're going to do a how-to book, do you have experience in that area? What kind of research have you done? And then to take those thoughts and put them to paper is another process. And here's a secret. We have to transform the way that we write to the way that we talk. And then it gets polished. It gets the brush up. So there is a process. But do you understand where I'm going? There is a process to reach the goal of that finished product. Allow yourself to have faith. I want you to have faith in what you see. It is beautiful, it is magnificent, and it is meant to reach multitudes. It is meant to leave a legacy behind for your loved ones as well. And guess what? Most important, it's something you can sign off on, on what you want it to achieve in your life. But it is all in a process. I'm not going to say that every day is going to be a bed of roses and that it's going to be easy because it's not. I don't want you to give up though. I want you to keep striving. I want you to keep pushing forward. I want you to meet that goal. But you must allow yourself to have faith. You must allow yourself to trust the process Although the process sometimes may seem so very, very frustrating, you might seem sometimes that you've been in a place for quite a while and you just can't get beyond that particular pivotal point. But remember the logic that I shared with you, something written back in 2016 on this very date. I absolutely love how the memories pop up on our Facebook social media pages. And it's so simple. A fork in the road simply means there are 
options. And so you have to have faith. You have to know that, guess what? I have options. I might have reached a dead end, though it seems, but I have options. I have options. Even if it appears that you are coming to the end, you have an option to back up and to turn around and to go the other way. There is always an option. Always. You know, we talk about the mountain. We talk about the, the roadblocks. But before we get to the roadblocks, do you not know that there are warning signs? That there was a roadblock ahead? Are we paying attention to the roadblock? Are we paying attention to the warning that says, you know what, don't go that way. I need you to shift. I need you to, I need you to come up, uh, uh, revise your plan. I, 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 I need you to, to stay focused. You know, there are options. And I want you to trust the process. Here's something else that I want to encourage you not to do. Do not measure your process up against someone else's process. Because we all have our road to travel. And we do not know behind closed doors the amount of time that is spent on an individual's vision. So never measure yourself up against anyone else's process, their progress, or the outcome of the vision. Yes, iron sharpens iron. And we can encourage one another. We can share tactics. We can share ideas. But if I finish ahead of you, I don't want you to measure yourself up against that and quit. I don't want you to do that. You have your own pace. Remember, the race is not given to the swift or to the strong but to the one that endureth to the end. And so do not allow that to discourage you looking at someone else and saying, oh, they're going at such a rapid speed. Don't try to keep up with their speed. Work at your own pace. This is all about allowing yourself to have faith in the process given unto you. Because we all can't win at the same time. If we all came out and won at the same time, then what else is there to look forward to? What about uh, uh, those who aren't looking on that particular day that you launch? What if they look on another day? And that day might be the day that they see you. See, we all have our own audience. And we're supposed to release those purpose, goals, and dreams at a specific time. So that's why I don't want you to measure your progress, your process, or your vision against anyone else's. Go at your own pace. So let's take a look further in this awesome book. It says, Anxiety and Striving are the enemies of your peace. Let me read that again. Anxiety and striving are the enemies of your peace. When we measure ourselves up against others, that brings on stress and anxiety. And it interrupts your peace. It interrupts your creative flow. It interrupts your progress. Why? Because... If we are focused on the process and progress of others, we're not focusing on what we need to do. So do not allow anxiety and striving to interrupt your peace of creative flow, of progress. It's not a contest. So, uh, Remove the thought, oh, they're doing better than me. Oh, they're achieving better than me. They're reaching more people than me. No. Mm -mm. 
The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one who endureth till the end. What is your endurance? Endure. Stay focused. Have faith. Allow yourself to have faith. When I give you a task, I give you the grace to accomplish it. Isn't that wonderful? That's why we have to take in stride and we have to understand the vision. Take it component at a time. Begin to dissect the vision, the sceneries that you see. And then have faith that you know what? You can achieve that portion. It's just like the jigsaw puzzle or, or the puzzles that you can go and buy. I absolutely love them. And the box reveals this, this picture. Now, I, I, I need to open up the, the, the puzzle and empty out the content and, and get, in, get into the space. And I need to look at all of those puzzle pieces. And then I need to figure out, I think, you know what, I think this weekend, I think I'm going to get me a... a a puzzle and 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 put it together and and take a picture of it and post it uh, let, let and we get these puzzle pieces and we have to figure out where they go so that we can get the picture that's on the box now there are some puzzles that are, are available for different ages and stages of life some of us like the more complicated ones because we don't like easy stuff. Remember, your vision should be bigger than you. And it's going to take some time. There are going to come some times within putting that puzzle together that you pick up a piece and you assume that it goes into a specific slot. But it does not. <laughs> it goes somewhere else. But that's a part of life. Remember, a fork in the road simply means there are other options. That means that that puzzle piece has a place to go, not just where we thought it should go, but it has a place to go. So we'll put that piece aside. And then we look over what we do have and we try to figure out what fits there. Sometimes in the midst of putting the puzzle together, uh, we'll, we'll get a couple of pieces that fit over here and a couple of pieces that fit over there and we'll put those together. But in the long run, they'll all come together. Mm -hmm. Have faith. Have faith. And stay encouraged. You have the grace to accomplish that goal and that vision. It says here, I never led you into failure or give you a mission only to make you fall. When you believe in your dreams, when you believe in your, your vision that you have been allowed to see, know this, the only option of failing is if you don't try. And when we receive the visions that are for the benefit of the kingdom of heaven, God never gives us anything with a thought that we're going to fail at it. No, he wants us to succeed. I want you to succeed. I want you to accomplish what you saw in that vision. I want you to reach those goals that you have put on paper. You have the grace, you have the determination, you have the heart, you have the discipline, and you have the commitment to endure until that puzzle is completely together. You can do it. I know you can. It says, I will strengthen you in the quiet place and bring my transcendent peace to calm your soul. So you can do this. Relax. Take one section at a time. And like I said, that puzzle is so intricate. You might figure out the pieces over here and figure out the pieces over there and, and things begin to come together. 
they'll all come together for a complete picture one day soon. Have a blessed day. Know that we love you without measure simply because we believe in the potential of you. So we're going to say goodbye to our radio podcast and also to our listening audience on the Wisdom app. Have a great day, everyone.